look at verse 20. That also was accounted a land of, notice, giants. Giants dwelt therein in old time, and the Ammonites called them Zamzumans, a people great and many and tall as the Anakims. But the Lord destroyed them before them, and they succeeded them, and dwelt in their stead. Also look at chapter 2 and verse 10. The Emims dwelt there in time past, a people great, many and tall, as the Anakims. Okay, so we see right here that there's this group of giants called Anakims right here. So remember these guys. These bad boys are going to come out pretty important for surviving, actually, these Anakims. Now look at chapter 3. Chapter 3. And notice this is not just some uh, ordinary giants, like really tall people of today. This is something more than that. It's like little abnormal. It's like supernatural. We're going to look at Deuteronomy chapter 3 and look at verse 11. For only Og, king of Bashan, remained of the what? Remnant of giants. Giants that survived. And you got to realize this. Moses was long before Joshua. And Moses was the one who conquered Og. So you got to realize these, these giants survived through something else before. Now let's keep reading. Behold, his bedstead was a bedstead of iron. See, this is a little abnormal. Is it not in Rabbath of the children of Ammon? Look how tall he is. Nine cubits was the length thereof, and four cubits the breadth of it, after the cubit of a man. That's like more, a little bit more than 13 feet, see? That's a little bit more than 13 feet. And it's in iron. Why? Because if they make it at wood, maybe he'd break it. But notice the breadth of it, four cubits as well, see? So he's really wide right there. I think four cubits is six feet. I'm not sure, but that's like a pretty long thing for him. Okay, so we know this at Genesis 7, 21 through 22, that when it says all flesh, the thing is, is that it shows right here that the water, the aquatic animal, survived. So then how did these giants survive at Deuteronomy 2 and 3? Because it said remnant. The reason why they survived the most logical thing, the only answer you can think of, is that they went underground. It's through these aquatic creatures. Through these aquatic creatures, they were the ones that survived through them. So perhaps these aquatic creatures, they intermingled again, and then they survived. It's also possible they could have uh, went out to outer space. Because a lot of, uh, when you're going to find demonic activity, it's in two places, outer space and bottom of the sea. That's what you're going to find out in the Bible. But you know, it's more out of the bottom of the sea you'll mostly find in the Bible, not outer space. It's mostly from the bottom of the sea. That's why, as one Bible-believing teacher said, Dr. Upman, he believes that a lot of the UFOs and aliens, it's more from underground rather than from above. So we see right here something interesting about these remnant of the giants, but these Anakims, look at Joshua 11 now. Joshua 11. This is really interesting about these survivors. Joshua 11. Now remember, Joshua, he had, to, he had the job of wiping out the giants, right? Moses got rid of the first part of the remnant, and then Joshua was the one next after that. But then you got the story of David and Goliath. You also got the story of Goliath's brothers who have six fingers and six toes, which is somewhat supernatural. So what happened here? I'll show you something here. Look at Joshua chapter 11. Look at verse 21. The Bible tells you why Goliath survived. The reason why Goliath and the other giants survived is, and at that time came Joshua and cut off the who? Anakims from the mountains. Remember those guys? These bad boys, the giants, Anakims. Now look at this. From Hebron, from Deber, and from Anab, and from all the mountains of Judah, and from all the mountains of Israel, Joshua destroyed them utterly with their cities. There was none of the Anakims left in the land of the children of Israel. Only in where? Gaza. That's the Philistine city. In Gath. Remember Goliath of Gath? That's the Philistine city. And in Ashdod. That's Philistine. There remained. That's why they survived right there. So we see right here how they were able to survive is because these Anakims. So if you want to find leftover of remnant, the closest clue you're going to get is in that location of Philistine.
the Philistines would be the location. It's also possible perhaps the Antichrist can come out of that region because I do know that there are some typologies of Philistines uh, connected with the Antichrist somehow, so which is interesting. So it could be very possible.